Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the mechanism of ventilation of lungs in frogs. First we shall discuss the respiratory apparatus of frog that consists of nostrils which are open internally into the buccal cavity. The buccal cavity that leads to the glottis, the trachea which starts from the glottis and leads to the lungs. The lungs which are balloon shaped. The lungs have alveoli which are small and thin walled chambers that increase the surface area for gas exchange in lungs. This all is the respiratory apparatus of frogs. Now we shall discuss the mechanism of breathing or lung ventilation which has two phases, inspiration and expiration. First, we shall discuss inspiration. Inspiration in frogs happens with positive pressure pumping mechanism. In contrast to other vertebrates which have mostly negative pressure, frogs have positive pressure pumping mechanism. In this mechanism, Air is pushed into the lungs by the pumping pressure of buccal cavity. Ye phenomena is liye mumkin hai ke frog ke pass capacity hai ke it can open and close its nares and glottis independently. Glottis or nares dono at a time open kare, dono me se kisi ek ko close kare. This is an autonomy which a frog has. Now we shall discuss the steps of inspiration. At the first step, the external nares open and glottis closes. As a result, the floor of mouth is lowered. These actions cause the air to be drawn into the buccal cavity. After this, air jo hai wo buccal cavity mein aane ka ye process tha. Ab isse agla process jo hai usme buccal cavity se air ko pump kiya jana hai. Is process ke liye ab nares close ho jate hain. Glottis is opened and buccal floor is raised. Ye jo raising of buccal floor hai, it provides the force for pumping the air into the lungs. Dear student, frogs may ye jo inspiration ka process hai, it is repeated several times in a sequence. Expiration ke liye jo ventilation cycle hai, that begins after many inspirations. Now we shall discuss the process of expiration. Expiration frog ki complex hai. It occurs in steps. Lungs jo hain, ye har breathing cycle ke work, har inspiration ke cycle ke work, ye ek portion of air lungs se buccal cavity mein bhej dete hain. Kyunki jab repeating sequence hota hai inspiration ka, to har dafa glottis open hota hai, jiska maksad hota hai ke inspired air ko Buccal cavity se push karna hai into the lungs. Iske liye glottis open hota hai. Lekin glottis ki ye opening encourage karti hai inward air ko jo lungs mein mujood hai aur higher pressure par hai ke wo bahir buccal cavity mein aajai. Is tarah se air jo hai wo expire hoti hai into the buccal cavity. Ab jab inspiration ke work buccal floor raise hota hai और एयर फ्रेश एयर को लंग्स में पुश किया जाता है तो ये जो एक्सपायर हुई हुई एयर है जो के बकल कैविटी में आई होती है ये भी वापस इंस्पायर हो जाती है दैट इज आल्सो पंप्ड बैक इट मींस 
that the pulmonary returned air which is low in oxygen and high in carbon dioxide is mixed with fresh air in the buccal cavity and a mixture of both these is returned to the lungs. After few such cycles, a full ventilation cycle for exhalation happens. In that step, steps of the inhalation are repeated in a reverse order during exhalation. 